Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. And today we got Marvel Legends series, Spider-Man, Sinister Villains, but it doesn't say the villain's name. We have Tombstone in here. And this is actually from the Spider-Man Homecoming wave that is officially to hit stores. Uh, technically, I guess May 1st is the, you know, if, if the rumor mill is, is correct. But, uh, I got this, the Beetle, and uh, Homemade Suit Spidey from Amazon, because I don't know if they accidentally put them up or whatnot, but people ordered them. I was one of them. Missed out on Moon Knight, but hey, at least I got a couple. Um, and this is Tombstone. And on the packaging, you got the Beetle, and you got a really sinister looking Tombstone image on the back. I just knocked down the female beetle, but that's all right. I'll just get her out of the pit, out of the way. I was like, out of the picture, out of the way, out of the camera, whatever. And, uh, of course, we got the, the bio there. Picture of Tombstone and the beetle. Such an awesome, awesome figure. Everybody from the wave... Which I think, I mean, I didn't really want to get Cosmic Spider-Man, but I think I will end up getting all of these, minus that one. Because out of all of them, this Spider-Man with the wingsuit is the weakest link. And I love the uh, idea of build a item. So we get to build the Vulture's uh, wings, which is pretty cool instead of it just being a normal figure. Some people may not, may not like it, but I think it's a cool change. And uh, let's go ahead and get this bad boy out of the package so we can see what he's all about. There we got Tombstone out of the package looking fresh as heck. But he comes with no accessories except for the Build-A-Figure piece. And this is the same Build-A-Figure piece just opposite side. Like the Beetle came with. So if you've seen that review, same thing, spins. The blade actually can rotate. Um, but yeah, another part of the Build-A-Figure. Now, uh, before we get into this figure, like a lot of people aren't... I, I don't know. I think this is a villain that some people may not be familiar with. Um, he has a pretty good background. He's uh, a well-known Spider-Man villain. He's fought a lot of characters besides um, Spider-Man. And actually, the comic that actually introduced me in, in my first time ever seeing or being aware of uh tombstone was with this comic right here so it's dark hawk marvel comics back when comics were a buck 25 but yeah tombstone beats the hell out of him and uh that was the first time I ever heard his tombstone. I'm like, what is this guy? And, you know, he is a very creative uh, villain. Like, his backstory and stuff. It's pretty awesome. And I'm so glad that they went with this style of costume. Because, I mean, this is how I know the tombstone. Um, now, let's take a look at this figure. And unblur the camera. And we got here his face. His face sculpt is phenomenal it is tombstone to the t he's got the red eyes that goes really well with them because if the character has red eyes he is an al uh, albino and they got those shaved down fangs like he actually made his teeth look like that and it's awesome and uh this is a massive figure, like the collar popped up, um, he's just a really, really big figure, um, like we can get into, let's get into articulation, why not, we start at the head, um, and also the hair, awesome, like on point, and he's like a blue plastic with like a white wash over him, looking really cool, but uh, he can look down that much, he can look up that much and of course his head can turn and you know get some 
a little bit of angles going. It's a really nice articulation in the head of this figure. And his arms, because he's such a massive figure, go up this far. He's got the bicep swivel, and this is going to be the same on the other arm too. Double elbow, double elbow, double jointed elbow. His wrist can bend and rotate because he comes with fists. And he has this little cuff thing, like the little straps with the belt. The buckles are painted, looking really nice. But dealing with that whole loose syndrome, instead of it being a sculpted piece or glued on, they just left it loose for us to keep tucking back and up and just like Cyclops' stuff. If you guys ever got a hold of a Jim Lee Cyclops. And uh, his torso can bend quite a bit. Can bend back really well. And... His abs don't look too bad when it's fully tilted back, but usually, you know, this sort of looks a little bit better because those top abs right there just sort of look a little weird. So, and then the back, I mean, it's just black plastic. There's not much going on right there. He does have waist swivel. His legs can only go out so far. Um, doing the splits. He has the thigh swivels, which, I mean, they're okay. Um, and then his leg can only go, it can go back a lot further than some of those figures, um, with the butt flap, but can go back. And then he can kick pretty far out there. And then with that leg that we have kicked out, he has the double jointed knee. He has the... Nasty calf swivel. Um, this one's not nearly as bad because there's not big chunks sticking out, but still, it's a weird thing. And then he has, again, the straps of the boot, which should be tucked up like so. He has the ankle bend, the ankle pivot, like your typical, you know, articulation you would get with Marvel Legends. But I just don't get these straps. I, I don't understand why they didn't sculpt it in or at least glue it on. Like, you put, obviously put it on there. Glue it in place. But them gluing things in place, oh, man. Like, that quality control is already iffy and spotty at best. So, But this figure is freaking monster. Like, he is awesome. Like, he looks like he is a crime lord that could just destroy you. Um, and I wonder, I don't have, actually, I don't have the chameleon crap. Um, I could pop the head off and put it on the chameleon body, but it's also one of those things where then you'd lose his bulkness. Um, I hope they maybe would release another tombstone that would give him his business suit or something like that, or, um, maybe release another character that has a little bit stockier, uh, body in a business suit. But... This figure is awesome, and I just sort of get them standing next to the, the other figures from the wave. There he is. Square Man's all squashed down. Squashed down, but... And then... Crap, I'm knocking everything over right now. And then to get my main reason... That I got tumor, tombstone. I was gonna call him Tomb Raider. What the heck? So main reason, because I think thought it would be an awesome villain for my Dark Hawk. You know, I have I have plenty of Spider-Man villains, cool, but uh, you know I can have Tombstone and Dark Hawk just going at it, and that is um, the main reason I like Tombstone. Because <laughs> he really put a beat down on Darkhawk. Uh, but anyway, uh, that is my unboxing, my review of the new Tombstone figure from the Spider-Man Homecoming wave. Uh, if you guys like it, add a like, subscribe if you want to keep seeing more. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching the video. So uh, good luck hunting. Continue collecting. And as always, have a wonderful, wonderful day, guys.